Hello and welcome back my friends. Today we have another easy answer random order video for the 100 civics questions on the US citizenship test. We chose answers, remember that we chose answers we felt were easy to learn. However, please remember you are free to choose your own answers. Also a quick announcement here, please know that the civics test is only one part of the full N400 interview. Most of your interview will involve reviewing your actual N-400 application. So be sure to also review your application before your interview. Okay, quick, that was just a quick announcement. So uh, let's get started with the civics questions. Ready? I mixed them up for you. Who is in charge of the executive branch? Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. You got it. The president. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. Speech. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. The Civil War. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Okay. Martin Luther King Jr. What did he do? He fought for civil rights fought for civil rights. Name one right only for United States citizens. Okay, keywords here. Only for United States citizens. To vote in a federal election. Vote in a federal election. Remember that one, it's gonna come up again, okay? What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? They could vote or join a political party. Vote and join a political party. What is the capital of your state? Okay, of course, answers will vary here depending where you live. Uh, you can Google <laughs> what the capital of your state is, or you can ask below and we'll help you out. What are two cabinet level positions? What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Education. Secretary of Defense and Secretary of Education. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Mm -hmm. Who's the President now? That's Joe Biden. Joe Biden. What is an amendment? What is an amendment? An amendment is a change to the Constitution. A change. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? What is one power of the federal government? To print money to print money. Name your U.S. representative. Name your U.S. representative. Of course, here, again, answers will vary. You can go to house.gov and you'll need to type in your zip code and your street address to find the name of your specific representative. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. 
Africans or people from Africa. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? That was Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and liberty. Life and liberty. Who makes federal laws? Who makes federal laws? Congress. Congress. Name one state that borders Mexico. Name one state that borders Mexico. Here I chose California. California borders Mexico. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Slavery. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? That would be the vice president. The vice president. What is one reason colonists came to America? One reason that colonists came to America. For freedom. Freedom. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Mm -hmm. Ocean on the east coast is the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. What is the name of the national anthem? What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner. We elect a president for how many years? Hmm. Elect a president for how many years? That's four. Four years for a president. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? So, Eisenhower. What war was he in? Eisenhower was in World War II. World War II. Name one U.S. territory. Name one U.S. territory. Here I chose Puerto Rico. Um, another favorite is Guam. A lot of people like that one. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Okay, there are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Two major political parties in the United States are the Dem Democratic and Republican. Democratic and Republican. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Here are those key words again, remember? Only for United States citizens. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? And we can use the same answer. Vote in a federal election. Vote in a federal election. 
What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Checks and balances. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Six years for a Senator. Who is the Commander in Chief of the military? Commander in Chief of the military is the President. The President. Who was President during World War I? Who was president during World War I? Ah, that would be Woodrow Wilson. World War I, Woodrow Wilson. Hear all those W sounds? <laughs> when was the Declaration of Independence adopted? Okay, so when? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? That was July 4th, 1776. July 4th, 1776. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Susan B. Anthony. Okay, she fought for civil rights. You could use the same answer as Martin Luther King Jr. Susan B. Anthony, they both fought for civil rights. What is freedom of religion? What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. George Washington. Why did the colonists fight the British? Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Because of high taxes. Why do some states have more representatives than other states. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. Because of the state's population. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? So here again, um, answers will vary depending where you live. You can go to senate.gov to uh, find your senators. You just click and look for your state. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The civil rights movement. Civil rights movement. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. All people of the state. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. <laughs> Name one branch or part of the government. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. Congress. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? So here we elect a U.S. representative for how many years? That's two. Two years for a U.S. representative. What is the rule of law? What is the rule of law? The rule of law means everyone must follow the law. 
everyone must follow the law. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? Okay, first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. We the people. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day, President's Day. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Who did the United States fight in World War II? Three countries here. Japan, Germany, and Italy. Japan, Germany, and Italy. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? The vice president, her name is Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. When was the Constitution written? When? When was the Constitution written? 1787. 1787. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Crow. Crow. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? Benjamin Franklin. He was a U.S. diplomat. U.S. diplomat. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? Constitutional Convention. The Constitution was written. The Constitution was written. What does the President's Cabinet do? What does the President's Cabinet do? It advises the President. Advises the President. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? The Cold War main concern was communism. Communism. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. 435. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York. New York. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt. Who is the governor of your state now? 
Okay, this is the last question that will vary based on where you live. Um, and you can find out the name of your governor. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Nine. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. American Indians. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Louisiana. In what month do we vote for president? What month? November. November. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. Okay, so this is about the Federalist Papers. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. John Jay. Who vetoes bills? Who vetoes bills? The president. The president. What did the Declaration of Independence do? What did the Declaration of Independence do? It said that the United States is free. Said that the United States is free. Who was the first president? George Washington. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? September 11, 2001. Terrorists attacked the United States. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. World War II. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provide schooling and education. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Name one state that borders Canada. One state that borders Canada would be New York. New York. What is the supreme law of the land? The supreme law of the land is the Constitution. The Constitution. What does the Constitution do? What does the Constitution do? It sets up the government. Sets up the government. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Two rights of everyone living in the United States. Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. When do we celebrate Independence Day? When? Do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. July 4th. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Who is the Chief Justice of the United States? That's John Roberts. John Roberts.
What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Ocean on the west coast is the Pacific Ocean. Pacific. How many amendments does the Constitution have? How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. 27. How many U.S. Senators are there? How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. 100. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? One promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To obey the laws of the United States. Obey the laws of the United States. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? When must all men register for the selective service? When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18, or you could also say between 18 and 26. Between 18 and 26. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House the Speaker of the House. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The 1800s. One war. The Civil War. The Civil War. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? We have the Senate and House. The Senate and House. What is the political party of the president now? The political party of the president now is the Democratic Party. Democratic Party. What is the highest court in the United States? The highest court in the United States is the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court. There were 13 original states. Name three. Okay, I chose these three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. All the news. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Name one of the two longest rivers. The Missouri River. The Missouri River. The other one is the Mississippi. Mississippi River. So whichever one you can pronounce easier um, would be the one to remember. What does the judicial branch do? What does the judicial branch do? The judicial branch reviews laws, reviews laws. What is the economic system in the United States? What is the economic system in the United States? It's a capitalist economy, a capitalist economy or um, some people like the other one, market economy. So either one. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Freed the slaves. Same answer as Abraham Lincoln. Freed the slaves. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? When is the last day 
you can send in federal income tax forms. That would be April 15th. April 15th. Who signs bills to become laws? Who signs bills to become laws? The president. Very good. The president, once again. And there you have it, all 100 civics questions. Thank you for joining me again today. You did it once again. Please leave questions and comments below, and we will do what we can to help you find the answers you need. Thanks again for watching. You can do this. I know you can. Have a wonderful day.